All right, well, joining us now from Pittsburgh is Audrey Gusky, marketing professor at Duquesne University, and Ron Rhodes is here in New York. Ron is the general manager of one of these services, Rob Weber and Associates. Uh, Audrey, let's start with you. Why would a big company like AT&T need to uh, hire out to handle these calls? Well, they claim it's a lot more cost effective. What tends to happen when you're bringing outside organizations in who could perhaps take the calls from several different companies, it's saving them quite a bit of money. But I have concerns with this. There's a lot of ethical implications because when you have a lot of outsiders uh, being responsible for a particular organization, you may not be getting the quality of service and also the selling of this information or taking information from consumers that they are not aware of, that they are providing to other people, is a big problem for consumers. All right, Audrey. Big brother is watching. One second, Ron. We have just about 20 seconds. Should people be concerned? No. Um, what, what's, what's basically happening is we've seen the emergence of a 24-hour marketplace and Basically, these companies are really helping. I'm going to ask you to just hold off on that thought, and we'll pick up on it right after the break. I apologize for cutting you off. More Fox on Consumers after this. Stay with us. We are back with more Fox on Consumers, and we're talking about companies that answer calls for other businesses, but also gather all kinds of information on customers that call in. Joining us again, Audrey Gusky, marketing professor from Duquesne University, and Ron Rhodes, who runs one of these companies. It's called Ron, Rob Weber and Associates. And, and uh, Ron, I had to cut you off before, and I'm sorry about that. Why shouldn't we be concerned when we think we're calling one place, we're actually calling another place, and there might be information gathered about us and given out to people that we might not want to have that information? Well, well first of all, it's Ron Weber and Associates. Okay, I'm sorry um, about that. No problem. And. Um, what, 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 is, what essentially has taken place is that we've seen the emergence of a 24-hour consumer marketplace. And we recognize that business relationships are, are essentially trust-based, but it's very healthy for our economy to ha for, for these corporations to be able to share such services so that they can offer more to the consumer. But you don't tell people that are calling in, first of all, that they're not talking to the people that they think they're talking to, and second of all, that, that you're taking down some personal information about them that you're going to share with other people. Isn't that deception? We don't de deliberately deceive anyone. We don't necessarily volunteer this information, but if any consumer calls any of our agencies and asks whether they're talking directly to that company, we'll, we'll be very forthcoming with that information. But, but you're really dealing with an issue of privacy here. As consumers, we have a right to know where our information is being sent. If someone has a medical problem, they don't want insurance companies and potential employers to find out about different types of uh, problems they may have. As consumers, we have a right to know where that information is going out, and we should be told. As, as a consultant, I've worked with many organizations and helped them build these call centers. And what we attempt to do is provide, um, gather the information to help these companies better produce products and services that are of interest to the consumer and will satisfy their needs. But when you're taking it a step further and selling that information to other organizations without the consent of the consumer, that's wrong and that's I, scary. I wouldn't want to mislead the audience here, Audrey. Um, we're simply a conduit and we're, we're under contract by, by various corporations and we don't keep any of the information. It goes straight through us to the, the original corporations that the uh, public thinks that they're doing business with. So That's we don't sell that information independent of the corporation that, that we're contracted with. Right, and exactly, Ron, and I'm not accusing you of doing that, but a lot of organizations are actually doing that, selling this information. And as consumers, we're completely unaware of that. We're providing this information, we're calling with a complaint, we're trying to get a new credit card, we're asking information about a product, and suddenly they're asking us questions, and as innocent consumers, we're providing that information. Lou Harris did a survey a couple of years ago and found that majority of consumers are aware that this is happening but feel extremely uncomfortable with this and really don't know what to do about it. I, I think I would push that responsibility to the corporations who contract with us to determine the ethics and the values of, of the corporation that they're contracting with. We're very proud of our reputation in, in the industry, and as I said, um, we have no reason or desire to hold on to this information and do anything deceptive with it. Audrey, uh, we're, we're under a minute now until the end of this segment, but what can we do if we are uncomfortable like the survey says we are? What can we do about well, it? Well, I think consumers need to be aware whenever they are providing information, whether it's over the phone or answering some kind of uh, questionnaire, that information most likely will be provided to someone else and outsourced to someone. They're creating databases and warehouses. They know who we are, they know where we live, they know what's important to us, what we like to do, and in a lot of ways it's very positive because it's getting us better products and services. That's correct. Okay, well I want to thank both of our guests, Ron Rhodes here in New York, Audrey Gusky in Pittsburgh. We appreciate